Hello everyone, again this is Teacher Jerome and for this day we are going to have articulator exercises which will help us practice and to be good when it comes to pronunciation of the English words. So let's go and try this articulator exercises. Now exercise number one, puckering the lips. This particular exercise is designed to increase the range of movement of your lips which will help your speech and swallow functioning. Now when doing this exercise, it is important to move your lips as far as you can to feel the muscles stretch. Now you shouldn't feel any pain, only a strong stretch. Now you can practice this particular exercise at least three times per day. So let's try to have or to practice this exercise number one, puckering the lips. So the first step for puckering lips is to pucker the lips and hold it for five seconds, then ending it with a kiss. Okay, so let's start. So that is the first exercise. Now exercise number two is fill the cheeks with air or the popper fish exercise. Now the first thing we need to do is to fill our cheeks with air and do our best to keep that air in our mouth. Now doing this strengthens the ability of your lips to keep a tight seal. Now as you get better at this, begin inflate one cheek at a time and then pass the air around from one cheek to the other. Now try to do your best to hold this position for 10 to 20 seconds or 10 to 20 repetitions. Now this helps in working almost all the facial and neck muscles. And one of the most effective face exercises to reduce double chin as it targets the cheeks, the jaws, the neck muscles and tones them to provide a natural face lift. So let's try to do the exercise number two, which is the popper fish exercise. We're going to fill the chicks with air and we split for 10 seconds. Let's try another. And moving from our chick to another part of the chick. Okay. okay, so that is our second exercise. So let's do the exercise number three, which is channel and bunch your tongue. Now the tongue is a very important muscle for swallowing and speaking. And this particular exercise is designed to increase the range of the motion of your thumb. When doing this exercise, it's very important to move your thumb as far as you can in each direction until you can feel the muscle stretch. Now, let's try to channel and bunch our thumbs, but I can suggest for you to use a mirror for this challenging exercise. What we need to do is to stick our tongue and then widen it after one. So let's start. Okay, so that's it. Our exercise number three. Now, the fourth exercise is yawning. Now, yawning is excellent for relaxing all the tiny muscles in the mouth and the face regions. Now, your voice would sound inarticulate because your muscles are not relaxed and limit your mouth movement. Now, this would exercise your soft palate 
or vellum. And this exercise is a natural human tip which helps to release tension in the jaw and neck. So let's do the yawning. So let's yawn first. Oh. Now let's yawn to the right. Oh. To the left. Oh. Big yawn. Oh. So that's our exercise number four. Yawn. So that's it. So practice this articulate your exercises at least five minutes a day and you'll be great. Again, this is Teacher Jerome and I'll see you again next time.